Uh, our first question comes from Paul. Hey podcast, what is the lime wash recipe? I have a hundred year old poured concrete basement. There are no leaks, but the walls are always damp and I have a lot of efflorescence. I remember an episode from a few years back and you talked about mixing a certain kind of lime powder and a liquid to paint on interior foundation walls. Can you please remind me the recipe for this paint or direct me to the right episode? Thanks so much, Paul. Okay, so the question is how do you make a lime wash? And uh, if I had to guess, I'm going to say that Matt Milham was the uh, instigator of the fi uh, Fine Home Building podcast discussion about lime wash. So I called him for an answer. Um, and he wrote back right away. He says, hey, Patrick, when I make lime wash, I use type S hydrated Mason's lime. It's already hydrated, so you don't need to let it slake. It's pretty much ready to go for whatever purpose. I plop it in some water and mix it up. You want to have a bunch sitting at the bottom of your container so you can put in quite a bit, like one lime to two parts water. Then just keep mixing as you paint. Add more water as you go and use it up. Add more lime if you don't have a pile of it sitting in the bottom of your container. You can paint as many coats as you like. It will probably take a few just to get the buildup you want, but it goes and dries quickly. And since this is a basement, you don't have to worry about being sloppy. Good luck. So uh, I'm not familiar with lime wash. I know Matt loves it. Have you guys had any occasion to use lime wash? Uh, Mike's shaking his head. Brian? I haven't. I'm curious uh, whether folks think we need some kind of uh, ask the experts answer in the magazine or maybe a short feature on using this and what you use it for. Uh, I, I think there are a lot of uh, traditional uh, reasons to use this product. I'm wondering if modern things have supplanted it and its utility, but I, I don't know enough about it to have a strong opinion. But uh, once again, it's a subject of regular interest on the podcast. What do you think? Why, Brian? Uh, you know, I, I I think that it has some problem solving potential, like this basement situation that the, you know, that we got, we got the letter about, you know, but I also, I mean, plaster finishes are like, I mean, we've all seen terrible textured finishes in houses, but well done plaster finishes are a great alternative, in my opinion, uh, to flat drywall. Yeah. You know, I, I've seen them and I've seen them done in all different ways. You know, I've seen them done from people doing very traditional things with, with, you know, lime plaster all the way up to people who, you know, uh, decorative painters who, you know, basically mix joint compound and paint and, and create these textured surfaces that I think can be, you know, can be done very well and can be very durable if you, if you, um, if you take the right steps to do it. And I, I think they can look great. So, I mean, I like, I, I like the idea for both problem solving. I don't know much about the building science when it comes to problem solving using, you know, using lime plaster um, finishes, but I, I, I like the idea. And I like the finished look. Mike, have you seen this done or seen it? I'm guessing you see it in old buildings in New England like I do, especially basements and cow barns, right? Yep, that's pretty much. I, I, it brought back memories of going down in my grandfather's basement in his three-family home, and the walls were all always white, and he'd be there mixing up a lime wash every, whatever, five years or so, and he'd just put another coat on as it kind of wore away or started bleeding through with stains. Do you know his rationale for that? Was he just trying to make it look nice? Was he trying to control vapor? Uh, he was trying to make it, it look nice. He was trying to make it look nice because down there he had a uh, antique railroad, you know, model railroad set. So he was down in the basement all the time uh, playing with that after he retired. So he wanted to keep the whole basement looking clean and neat. Very cool.